Oh, how the tables have turned. Several mainstream media and talk show hosts are beginning to question Joe Biden's clean record in the wake of Trump's pending charges. Welcome back to Resist the Mainstream, reporting the news that the mainstream won't. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and of course, hit that notification bell to stay up to date with our latest content. Well, it appears multiple legacy news and left-leaning talk shows are turning on President Joe Biden. Seems as though they would have done this a long time ago as soon as Kamala Harris was in place. So something has happened that the the Republicans have been hoping for and praying for, that they've been just everything they could think of. (laughs) And they finally have found a way, and they announced it. They are going to go forward with trying to impeach (laughs) the president of the United States right now, Joe Biden. And I say, listen, (laughs) you had seven years to go after Bo. We see how well that went. So go ahead. I think you, you, Hunter, uh, Hunter, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Hunter Biden, that's that's seven years you went after him. So you, you've been saying you're going, do whatever you have to do. And when you get all the stuff you think you got, come to us and let us know. I want to see. You know, it's really ironic. It sounds like they're talking about the Democrats. Remember this? If they believe Donald John, Donald John Trump incited the erection. But let's not use that as a smokescreen to somehow shield Donald Trump's culpability for inviting Russia to help them in the election, which they did, for trying to coerce Ukraine into helping him in the next election, mm. which he did, uh, into inciting an erection, uh, insurrection, which he did. Then the so-called self-proclaimed conservative co-host, Alyssa Farrah Griffin, chimed in. And here's the thing, Kevin McCarthy has two jobs that are running in direct conflict with each other, to keep his speakership and to keep the House majority, the very slim House majority. uh, 18 House Republicans won in districts that Joe Biden won. Uh Launching an impeachment inquiry and forcing them to vote on that is gonna make it extremely hard for Republicans to keep the House. Now I'll say this, and some of you aren't gonna like this, I think there's impropriety related to Biden's involvement with Hunter. I think there's been some misrepresentations. He said Hunter didn't make money from China. He said he had never met with any of his Ukrainian business partners with he had, um, which he had. He bringing him to the state dinner, I think, was bad optics. I have yet to see, and this is me, Alyssa Fair, something that's evidence of a crime. Imagine being a self-proclaimed conservative, claimed to be a Republican on the show, and you're doing nothing but protect Joe Biden and his son. The Daily Wire reported that while The View hosts discussed the impending impeachment inquiry, Hostin noted that then Vice President Biden likely allowed his son Hunter to profit from the Biden name. People are going to be shocked. I, I completely agree with that. I think that there is, has been but some more. <laughs> shocking, right? More though. Uh, I, I, but- I think that there has been some impropriety. I think that there are instances where Hunter Biden, in, a, in an attempt to show access to the vice presidency, the vice president's office made phone calls to daddy. Those have been taped. I think we have the situation uh, with uh, his work in, in Ukraine. We have the situation with his work in China. There's no way that political influence wasn't a part of that. I don't like nepotism across the board. I mean, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. And so I understand that there is some real concern there. But what is upsetting to me is that Kevin McCarthy and the Republican, this right-wing Republican party, is trivializing what impeachment is. High crimes and misdemeanors. Our former twice impeached, disgraced former president... Accused of. Accused of... um, You know, talking to President Zelensky of of Ukraine and trying to do a quid pro quo and trade information for arms when his country was about to start go into war with Russia. That's don't you think that's pretty significant? Okay, so I agreed with Sonny Hostin for a split second there. After that, she lost me. Perhaps the veil of ignorance is finally being lifted. Who knows? Hopefully this trend can extend to all corrupt politicians on either side of the aisle. And what do you think this could mean for President Joe Biden and his controversial family history? Will anything be done or will the mainstream media continue to protect him like they always do? If you're, if you're a Democrat, you're innocent, you're a Republican, you're automatically guilty, right? That's how it goes. Until next time, I'm Steve Inman with Resist the Mainstream, reporting the news that the mainstream won't. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and of course, hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Until next time, take care and we'll see you then.